how do you get your offer accepted in this seller's market? Well, here are the top five do's and don'ts. Thank you for joining my channel. I do own and run Taylor Allen Properties. I do sell Destin, Florida real estate. I do love working and living at the beach and I absolutely enjoy sharing those experiences with you. Buying a house in this market is tough. Um, I hate to say that, but it is. And agents are having to get incredibly creative right now in order to help their buyers find a home that they truly love. Um, it is definitely a seller's market, especially here in Destin, Florida. Um, homes are selling quickly, offers are competitive, um, and this video is intended to help you get your offer accepted in today's market. Number one, do start your research ahead of time. Don't wait until you're ready to make an offer. By the time you're ready to make an offer on a home, you should have already started researching the process of buying a home. I have tons of information on my channel. Um, and you should have already started researching the market that you're specifically looking in. That way, um, when you do find a home, you wanna make an offer on it, you can make a quick decision and act fast. Our market is moving quickly and you have to be able to move with it. Number two, do start the lending process in advance. Do not make an offer on a house if you have not qualified with a lender. Um, you have to have all your ducks in a row. Uh, purchase price is so important right now that when a house hits the market and it's a house you love, you really need to know if it's in your price point. And then when you make the offer, you have got to show proof that you qualify for that house. Number three, do know where you want to be. Do not drag your agent from city to city to city looking at homes. You are going to miss the home that you love. So take the time and determine the specific area that you want to be in. For example, here in our area, we have Fort Walton Beach, Destin, Miramar Beach, and Santa Rosa Beach all kind of run in together. So if I'm working with you, I want you to narrow it into one of those areas if you can narrow it down to a specific neighborhood or two, even better, definitely know what you want in the home itself and you have to know what you're willing to let go of. Number four, do be willing to act fast or, or act quickly. Um, don't, don't even take three days to make an offer on a home that you know you really want. Um, if it is a multiple offer situation, you will have to be willing to put your best foot forward um, in that offer. And unfortunately, that means acting very quickly. Um, so if you've already done one, two, and three of the list in this video, um, it will make it that much easier to make a quick, underline quick, decision when you're spending hundreds of thousands of dollars. It will give you more certainty in that decision. Number five, um, do write clean offers. Don't ask the seller for all the extra stuff. Um, what I mean by extra stuff is uh, when you're writing an offer, especially if it's in a multiple offer situation, um, keep it as clean as possible. Uh, make sure you give at least one to three percent of earnest money up front. Um, if you can give more, give more. Um, you can shorten your inspection period. You can shorten the closing date because people want to sell their house, get their money and move on. Um, one topic that comes up a lot in our area because we're surrounded by military is buyer closing cost. A lot of times, especially when a buyer is making an offer with a VA loan, they're typically going to ask the seller to help them contribute towards their closing cost. If you can skip this, skip it. If you can't, ask for as little as possible. And if you're asking for a buyer's closing cost, it needs to be at least a full price offer. Um, and, you, and you have to make it uh, appealing to the seller in other ways, which is what we just talked about. 
Um, and if you're going up against a cash offer, you really have to throw out all the stops and just go for it. Um, talk about putting your best foot forward. You basically have to give them your first child. Um, I have been in the situation where I had a, a good solid buyer on a normal day. Any lender wants to lend on this buyer and any seller wants to sell to this buyer. We were going up against a cash offer, quick close, and we were able to work it out because we added in our contract that we would give them a free of charge post occupancy until they could find a house to move into themselves. So that was the winning ticket for that one. You've got to be creative. You've got to think outside of the box and you, again, don't ask the seller for a lot and do your best to not have any contingencies attached to that offer. It is not impossible, but as an agent, we're having to get incredibly creative about finding the home, negotiating a contract on a home, especially when you're up against multiple offers and then getting it to and through closing. Um, sellers are definitely pushing the market right now on pricing. So that is, makes it even more important for you as a buyer to talk to your agent about the do's and don'ts in this video. Um, if you're relocating to Destin, Florida or buying a second home here, please check out my channel. I have tons of information on there to get you through the process, no matter which direction you're going in. Um, if you love this video, then you definitely want to watch through everything you need to know when buying a home. Um, thanks for watching the video. I'll see you next Thursday.